guys and gals and all my non-binary friends um doing my makeup again not for anything in particular I'm probably gonna do some tiktoks after this after i get ready because you know he used to be all over the clock app and then but when the world needed him most he vanished. and we ain't gonna let a hundred years pass honey we not we not let's talk about tvs and movies and shows that i've watched recently i recently got to see gone girl genuinely genuinely gen wish that i would have saw that without knowing what happens because i knew before i watched it like oh she's she faked the whole thing everyone's seen the cool girl monologue a million times so but it was still good like obviously i didn't get spoiled on the play by blood play of the movie so the movie was still interesting still good definitely if you've never watched it check it out it's a pretty good movie my brother and his girlfriend are watching shameless and i'm not like they're benching it together i'm just catching episodes with them that show is really good but like i just hate shows where you just know the character the, the main characters are just like fucked all the time but with shameless it's kind of a a give and take you know like i feel bad for them but also some of them they some some of the shit they get themselves into i'm like yeah y'all deserve whatever consequence happened from this you probably deserve it like them no people on shameless be tripping frank is fucking disgusting fiona is what some in the game call a cunt lip be tripping Ian be going through his shit debbie's a rapist calls a fucking cultural appropriator and my post is crazy i was recently watching the new episodes of craig of the creek i love craig of the creek craig of the creek is so good and then the end song when he's like, Come on, at Craig. Come on, stop fucking playing. Like, I'm gonna see Craig tomorrow at the Creek. Uh, Craig of the Creek is so good. Like, I love that show. I think it's so cute like they they introduce so many different characters my only complaint about that show would be the fact that black kids are not allowed to have black friends as their main characters like there are so many little black kids at the creek now and originally his, his two best friends are white kids and it's just like it would be so cute if you know we got to get little elementary black friend group but i'm still grateful for Gregor the Creek because it's a really good show and it has really cute representation and it does a good job with its black characters like not making them monolith you know so it's really fucking good you should check it out i don't know i watch so much tv and yeah i'm sitting here like oh my god <gasps> yellow jackets i've been watching yellow jackets my, my brother's girlfriend's name is joya I've been watching Yellow Jackets with Joya and my sister Gabby. So good, so weird. Like, okay, obviously this is spoiler. So if you, you haven't watched Yellow Jackets, ugh, I'm sorry. Jackie was a bitch. Like she was a, you know what I'm saying? Like Jackie and Fiona both are cunts. You know what I mean? And I hate to do that, but you know I am not. For all women, women, some women are cunts, you know, and that's true feminism. Realizing that we all can be shitty people, you know. So yeah, Jackie did not like Jackie. Did not like Jackie. Was not sad to see her go. I don't know what to think of Lottie. I don't know what to think of Lottie. Like Lottie's, I'm, I'm, I'm holding off, like not fucking with Lottie. I'm, I am holding off, not fucking with Lottie, because I'm just like. She's just misunderstood. You know, we all feel. I don't know. I don't dislike Lottie. Shauna. Shauna's interesting. I, I I like Shauna. Like when we first met her, it was obviously that she wasn't just like a stay-at-home mom. She still seemed boring. But now second season Shauna is interesting. And the fact that Shauna was the first person to eat a bitch. And it was Jackie. I think Shauna's baby's dead. But you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I went to go see Super Mario Brothers with my little cousin and my sister. 
I have never been a Mario person. I never, I'm not, a, I play games on my phone. I have, I have an iPad. I play games on my iPad. I don't play like console games or stuff. I, I don't. And personally, <laughs> mm, I'd be feeling like I don't have a lot of in, unpopular opinions. But unpopular opinion, watching people play Mario, oh my God. Like, just hang up last week. I mean, give me an adventure. I can't watch you just raise people and you little monkey cars. Like, I don't know. But that being said, the Mario movie was a solid A. I'm sure if you are into that, into Mario, you thoroughly enjoyed that movie because I thoroughly enjoyed that movie. And I think Mario, Mario is so boring when I watch people play. I'm sure it's fun to play. I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's a great game, beautiful gowns. But Chad, when I'm with my sister, with her Switch playing Mario, oh my God, I'm like, girl, this is so boring. Has this set long enough? Ugh. I don't know. Oh, uh, I'm one of the millions of people who are caught up on One Piece. People act like One Piece is impossible to watch. I'm caught up on One Piece in the last few episodes, okay? Where I'm at right now. And I also got so tired of waiting for one to happen that I definitely, whenever people were talking about the chapters on Twitter, I was dibbling and dabbling, so I know a lot. But I'm caught up. That shit was Zoro, like, oh my God so good so good and like whatever's going on with sanji i feel like ugh, everybody knows sanji's not gonna become like some robot right one piece do be surprising people though from time to time so i don't know but i feel like sanji's gonna be fine like he's fine he's just just being so dramatic like girl you're you're going to be fine you know i'm watching this uh anime called moriarty moriarty the patriot and it's like if you've ever watched anything to do with sherlock holmes I don't know if you read the books. Maybe you went to literature like that. I ain't never read the Sherlock books, home books, but pretty much everyone knows who Sherlock Holmes is. One of his main villains is Moriarty. And so this is from this, this anime is from the perspective of Moriarty. And it's very good. It, it's about like class consciousness and class solidarity and, and, and revolutions and all that shit. And it's really good. You should check it out uh, or whatever. If you're somebody who likes power ups and like shit like that, this is not the anime for you. But if you're someone who like storytelling and mystery solving and murder and criminal masterminds, you should watch it, it's good. I watch a lot of YouTube, y'all. Like, I watch a lot of shows, but I also watch a lot of YouTube, so. I also a lot of, like, I can barely think. Speaking of, um, I don't have that many followers, but <laughs> if you're watching this, uh, you should subscribe to Herbie Revolves. They are a YouTuber. They are non-binary, um, and they're fucking funny as fuck. They're funny as fuck. They're smart as fuck. They're just amazing, so check them out uh but yeah that's like the one of the few new youtubers i've watched i rewatched chewing gum recently um which is michaela cole's like debut tv show or whatever um if you don't know michaela cole um she also starred and wrote um i may destroy you on hbo max which is amazing as well as chewing gum so that was I watched Chewing Gum probably when I graduated high school, the year I graduated high school. Shit's still good. Still stands. It's quality. It's quality. It's funny. It's smart. It's it's telling a perspective that we never get to see a late blooming black girl just trying to own her life and her body. It's it's funny. It's gross, which I'm not a big fan of like gross things like i don't like shows that show people vomiting like you can indicate that someone's vomiting without showing it you know what i'm saying so that's the kind of viewer i am and chewing gum is a show that shows someone people vomiting but it's just a good show that i can overlook the grossness so you are to be forewarned i am suggesting this show but it's also gross it's gross and weird and very like dramatic but it's also really funny and it has a lot of heart and a lot of social commentary uh, i also recently rewatched fleabag that's really funny really smart like just women's stories matter they just do women's stories matter yeah yeah right. they just matter yeah. 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 And, I, you know. and 
Fleabag and Chewing Gum is definitely worth a revisit if you have already watched it. And if you haven't watched it, it's definitely worth the watch. Now, Fleabag is on Amazon Prime and Chewing Gum is on HBO Max. I watched Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. Good show. Good show. Good show. Riveting. Riveting. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Like, am I salty that fucking, oh, what was her name? Cassidy Williams, Vivica A. Fox's character died at the end spoilers spoil i'm sorry spoilers <laughs> yes i am i'm i was annoyed by that but like that show is so good like that show is so good because what ended up happening is i was watching velma uh mindy kaylin's uh hbo Sh max series uh and it was not good <laughs> i love animation i love anime i love adult animation i love kids animation so i if there's an adult animation out there with enough buzz around it i'm probably gonna watch it and so uh, it was i was watching it episode weekly because i just enjoy you know having like an adult animation animation that i've never seen before so even though i did not like it most of the jokes definitely did not land for me um i was watching it and that led me to want to watch more scooby-doo which led me to watching mystery incorporated that is quality shit and if mindy kaylin would have just took from there and went further she could have had a hit on her hands but i don't know i don't know some in the water one clean with that damn show i tell you that much it's velma's not good but mystery incorporated is good and you should watch it because it has you know it's it's adult friendly it's not adult you know adults aren't the main audience but it's definitely older teenage vibes like there it's definitely for older teenagers you know i wish that they didn't treat velma so bad like velma is treated like shit on her own show and then you go to something like incorporated velma is broken up with shaggy because shaggy chews scooby over velma and then later on in the seasons when fucking scooby gets his own girlfriend it's not a big deal oh choose between your girlfriend and and me so why did velma have to get treated like dog and made the butt of everybody's joke oh you got dumped for a dog like it's weird i don't get that she did not deserve that justice for velma dinkley bro Justice for Velma Dinkley. I watched a lot of stuff, but some stuff is not worth. Oh, I watched Swarm. I did not. I, I thought Swarm was ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. I thought Swarm was ridiculous. I I didn't. I, I, it didn't do it for me. As nicely as I can, it didn't do it for me. I was not. It wasn't for me. Oh, I watch Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. So good. I'm all up in my nose, but it's itchy. It feels like there's something there, but I don't want to miss up my thinking. So good. Like, if I can watch Bodies, 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 but I can't, I don't feel, because obviously Swarm is darker than Bodies, 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 but I, I'm here for, I love a good horror. Oh, ooh, that's another thing I watch. Go to Netflix right now and watch The Strays on Netflix. Okay, if I can watch something like The Strays and find, like, it's, The Strays is good. The Strays is good. Go watch that, okay? This, ooh, go watch it. If I can watch something like The Strays on Netflix and I can watch something like Bodies, 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 but something like Swarm doesn't resonate with me doesn't make sense to me i've never been a part of stan twitter but i have always wanted to have have that conversation about stan and so seeing that on not the big screen but you know on the small screen and on big pr production platform like amazon prime with big names like donald glover um excuse me i don't remember the wo uh, woman co-creator's name and the, the truth is that it's not that that's not i'm not their audience because all i could argue that all three of those movies bodies 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 the strays and swarm are all looking for the same audience i feel like to a certain extent so it's not that i'm not a part of the audience it just didn't hit uh, maybe you just didn't hit your audience now i did see t noir give a great um video analysis of swarm you should check it out it's gonna be a nerd for me darling so sorry bodies 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 had the perfect ending like these awful privileged um kids treat each other like shit all the time still are friends and so
so they're quick to think the worst of each other they're willing to think that the other would murder each other that's how shitty they've been to each other their whole lives and so it just it was great it was great it was good like they ate that oh <gasps> everything everywhere all at once let's talk about it these women this man ate down they ate down i don't like oh my god that movie was so good i literally watched it once by myself once with my sisters again with joya yeah about three four times <laughs> like so good the cast of everything everyone all at once did a tremendous job that movie is beautiful that movie is beautiful and it just ugh, it ate especially since i've been going through a lot of shit with my family recently like it just it hit it really hit and it's so funny because before i watched everything everywhere all at once my mom she used to she always goes to the movies with her sister and they just watch the like a lot of the recent stuff and my mom loves like k dramas and stuff like that she loves asian media and so as soon as she saw these asian people um on the screen she was like oh my god i'm gonna go see that so they went to go see it and I didn't know she went until she came out and she was like, you watched this weird movie or oh, whatever. My mom's a Christian. Uh, her sisters are very Christian. So I'm sure a movie about a lesbian traveling throughout the universe to find a mother who accepts her for herself fully, not just as a lesbian, but who she is as a person probably didn't probably didn't quite stick the landing with them. But yeah, it was really good. Most have I watched? Oh, I watched the menu. The menu was good. I enjoyed the menu. It was weird as fuck. Um, but I obviously based off of all the other shit I don't watch, you could tell that I don't mind something that's weird as fuck. When I saw the trailer for it, um, I, I went to go see Nope. This was way back when, I, when Nope was in theaters. I saw the trailer for the menu and I was like, oh, I'm definitely interested in watching it. Did not know it's gonna be what it was, but I enjoyed what was um, served up to me. I've loved blush since I saw Aaliyah's face putting it down her nose. I was like, wait, hold on. You might have did something right there. Come on. But yeah, oh my God. I wish I could think of everything that I've watched because I've watched some really interesting stuff. Obviously, a lot of the interesting stuff that I've watched, I've mentioned because all those shows are little wacko doodle that I've mentioned. Besides Craig of the Creek, maybe. Um, or whatever. But yeah, I love TV. I love watching new TV. And I'm getting into watching uh, movies alone. Because I, I feel like movie, movie watching is kind of a communal thing. Or whatever so when i hear people like yeah i just watched a movie by myself last night i'm like what so like recently i've just been trying to like get more comfortable watching movies because there's a lot of movies that i want to watch or that i yeah want to watch with a specific person or specific people and i never do because either you know you just never get to hang out with them or whatever so and then i just end up not watching the movies that i want to watch so it's like okay and watch it movies by myself and it's good it's a good time it's a nice it's fun i've been going out to like find bottle girl uh jobs in houston and i went to this one place and it's me and my sister we both we both go or oh, whatever together and i went to this one place and i was talking to this girl we saw her at our first cast call and she just so happened to work at the second place that we went and so she was like oh i know you guys i remember you guys I'm like oh yeah we remember you too whatever uh, and i'm talking with her when my sister's getting interviewed when i go and get interviewed she tells my sister your sister look like she watch anime she she does her makeup like an anime girl and i'm just like why are you trying to like expose my whole life story man like that's just so much like am i that obvious am i that fucking obvious bro like fuck but it was funny i thought it was really funny because she's so accurate like what can i say mama got taste i don't know because she was like it's cool i watch anime too and i'm like yeah like obviously you have taste come on now it's so funny because when I picked up 
when I started like watching anime, like actually being into it, I slowly like watched it and then I saw cosplayers and shit like that. And then I did one cosplay or whatever. And you really are seen like as a certain archetype. I don't know how to explain it. Like I was ended up having relations with this lesbian and she was like, oh, um, I always wanted an anime girl. What? What does that even mean? Like, you always wanted someone who watched just anime who is of the female sex? I don't, I'm like, what are we talking about? Like, huh? But it's just funny because like, I don't know, we all do it. I do it too. Like, you just know, you just put people in boxes and stuff like that. And you're just like, but that actually doesn't, I don't think that means anything, you know? <clears throat> it's just funny definitely the heart i got from anime girls but yeah like when it comes to watching tv shows go out of your comfort zone you know like watch something you wouldn't normally watch you know like if you're a romantic comedy girl watch a thriller you know if you're a action adventure girly watch a comedy you know what i mean if you love just deep sad movies watching an action adventure you know what i'm saying like so many genres bleed into each other so many things are gonna have the action you look for they're gonna have the comedy that you're looking for they're gonna have the emotion that you're looking for and you're not allowing yourself to get like the full breath of what media allows us with that being said i stand with the wga um strike as long as you need to strike these corporations do not value the people that make them all that money that give them all these awards and accolades all these corporations would be nothing if it were for writers none of us would have any of this shit that we love and enjoy the art that we love and enjoy um if it wasn't for writers so pay your fucking writers like they're asking for 3%. 3%. Try they better than me. Because I'd be asking for 50. But they're like, let's be realistic. And I can, I can appreciate that. <coughs> but take them for everything you can get. You fucking CEO should be ashamed. Should be ashamed of yourselves. Seriously. With that being said, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, wash your face, wash your ass, um, and be better than you were yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Expand your horizons, watch and listen to voices that you don't normally listen to. That doesn't mean you have to take in everything, but that means that you are more aware of what's around you. I feel like for so long, I was unwilling to watch or take in content that I did not approve of off the bat, and I think that limits yourself because how are you ever going to if your point is to live the best life you can or to get people on your side of morality or ethics or whatever, just be, I don't know why I'm going to, this is not really meant to be, this was, this was in my heart, okay? This is my parting message to you. But how are you going to ever be able to do that if you don't know what the other side is saying? If, how are you going to be able to combat those arguments? How are you going to be able to make sure that you're not falling for the same shit that they're falling for if you don't know what's going on over there? So always be op open to more voices. Listen, listen, observe, and do what is right based off of your ethics and your morals. And try to live a good life and be nice to people. Um, <laughs> at the end of the day, just be like chill, you know? Just like chill. Y'all have a great day. Talk to you later.